Hello, this is Dr. Josh Silver, and I wanted to just make a quick little case presentation on somebody that I've been seeing lately. This is a cone beam CT image of one of my patients who is suffering from allodynia and seems to be responding pretty well to treatment. So what I've done is oriented this axis with this axis or atlas bone here at the top, so along the atlas plane line. I've also taken the rotation out already to make sure that this blue line is oriented with the middle of the skull and straight A to P. So there's no rotation, and this is a picture we get if we uh, look at it full x-ray. See if we can make that a little bit bigger. That's what he looks like. But if we just close it in so all we can really see is his atlas. Well, if we look in this viewer right here, you see the amount of rotation that he has compared to his skull. And what we can do is actually measure this by placing some lines. So let's place a couple lines just to get an idea. This is what it looks like in this plane on this bottom joint. And if we scroll up a little bit, there's his top joint, there to there roughly, and the front of it. And you, you start to be able to see that there's some rotation of this bone. And if we take our little angleometer here and we align it and actually measure this rotation, what we're getting is 13.6 degrees of atlas rotation underneath the skull. This one looks a little bit more, that's about right. So this guy's atlas is twisted forward on the left side by about 13 degrees relative to his head. When he's looking straight ahead, his atlas has totally taken a right-hand turn. And you can see it here a little bit better. Let's zoom in on this one. That it looks like it's forward on the left side and backwards on the right side. And if we take a look here and orient it around, we have to go all the way here to start seeing it not twisted. So what I'm trying to get at is that the vertebral artery courses through the sides of the vertebra, comes up through that atlas bone, then goes backwards into the skull. And this forms the basilar artery, which provides 100% of the blood supply to the lower brainstem and the cerebellum. And when this vertebra here is twisted that far forward on the left side and backwards on the right, you can see that as they round this junction, this bony junction through the foramen magnum, that it's potential that they may be pinching one of these arteries. And if you start to diminish the amount of blood coming into that lower brainstem, then there may be symptoms or consequences to our neurology and our functioning. And I think my theory is for this guy who's responding to care is that this decreased blood flow is affecting his brain stem's ability to inhibit pain through the periaqueductal gray matter and that may be why he's responding is that increased circulation he can inhibit this abnormal pain sensation coming up to the brain so i just thought this was a pretty interesting case and um, let's hope that he keeps getting better